Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make cat butt coasters. Oh my gosh, these things make me laugh. They make me smile every time I see them. They are fantastic gifts for cat lovers. They make for great things to put on your table if you sell your crochet because they spark emotion in people. There's going to be so many people coming up to your table, grabbing these cat butt coasters and having to show somebody because they make you laugh. They make you smile. And most people are going to know somebody that loves cats or somebody that loves things that are funny. So they're, they're going to fly off your table. Uh, also, if you are going to a white elephant gift party, a white elephant party, and you need a gift, just make a bunch of cat butt coasters. People are going to love them. If at any point in this video you like what you see, please push the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I release two brand new videos every single week covering a wide range of multiple different types of crochet projects, and you are not going to want to miss out. I want to take a quick second to shout out, to give a special thanks to Sharice Watts with Raven's Moon Fiber Arts. She actually gave my best friend cat butt coasters a couple years ago, and it was my best friend Hannah who showed me that these cat butt coasters even existed. So because of Charisse and this web, this video is even possible. If you don't want to make uh, these cat butt coasters, you just want to buy some, check out Raven's Moon Fiber Arts on Facebook where Charisse sells cat butt coasters. She does a really great job with color choices and she makes good quality cat butt coasters and just giving her a shout out and supporting her. So let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make these cat butt coasters. The materials that you're going to need to make the cat butt coasters are two different colors of a size 4 100% cotton yarn. One needs to be pink because that is going to be the color of the cat butt. All right. And then the other color can be whatever color of choice that you want your cat to actually be. So there's lots and lots of different types of 100% cotton yarn that you can try to personalize this and match what your cat colors are. Um, so have fun with that, really. You're going to need a size H8 five millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, uh, two button eyes. This is optional. You can, I've seen with buttons, I've seen without buttons. So the button eyes are completely optional. Uh, a yarn needle to sew the button eyes onto the cat butt coaster. And then this part right here is optional. If you want to use the Mod Podge to stiffen the cat butt coaster or not. So when I get to that point in the video, I'll just emphasize you could either stop here or go to this next step. All right, let's go ahead and get right to making the cat butt coaster. Okay, when we start with the cat butt coaster, you're going to start with the pink colored yarn. Go ahead and using a small tail, we're going to form our slip knot. Take your crochet hook. Great. Okay, so the cat butt coaster is worked in rounds. So you can either start with the chain two method or a magic ring. I'm going to use the chain two method. So chain one, chain two. For round one, where you're going to put eight single crochets in the very first chain or eight single crochets inside your magic ring. One, seven, eight. Great. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and slip stitch on the very top of the first single crochet to close round one. Great. Okay. Grab our scissors and cut a small tail. Perfect. You are now done with the pink color. Going to just yarn over and pull through that loop. Pull tight for that knot. Perfect. Uh, grab the color that you're going to use for the main body of the cat butt coaster. I like to use my yarn as a row marker tail, but if you are using row markers, the little plastic clips or a paper clip or a safety pin, go ahead and make sure you pull that out right now. Because I use my yarn as a row marker, I'm just going to make a tail that's about uh, four or five inches long, and then I'm going to form my slip knot. If you are using row markers, you can use a small tail to begin with, that's fine. Okay, attaching my yarn. Okay, let's slip stitch into the work to attach the yarn to the work. Does not really matter where you start your attached slip stitch. Okay, so slip stitch. I'm gonna chain one, 
For round two of our cat butt coaster, you're going to put two single crochets in each stitch across or increase single crochet in each stitch. You should end round two with 16 single crochets. One, two, three, four, 14, 15, 16. Okay, guys, at this point, we've reached the very end of round two. I'm going to take my row marker tail. I'm going to yarn it over and pull it through my loop. If you are using row, row markers, you can move your row marker at this point. We're gonna work the rest of the circle cat butt coaster in continuous rounds. So we're gonna just dive right into round three without slip stitching and chaining one, okay? With round three, you're going to increase single crochet in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the second stitch, and then repeat that process and if you're not familiar, all an increase single crochet means is two single crochets in the same spot. So two single crochet in one spot, then one, then two, then one, then two, then one. You're gonna end round three with 24 single crochets, okay? So go right into your first stitch. So one, two, three, and then four, five, six, 23 and 24. Great. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take my row marker tail, yarn it over and pull it through just to signal me that I just finished round three. Go ahead and move your row marker if you are using one. Okay. Round four, we're going to put two single crochets in the first stitch or increase single crochet in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then repeat. Two single crochet, one, one. Two single crochet, one, one. You're gonna repeat that pattern and end round four with 32 single crochets. One, two, one, one. One, two, one, one. 31 and 32, great, okay. Go ahead and take your row marker, pull it through, or just move your row marker. Okay, we are on round five. With round five, we're going to increase single crochet in the first stitch or two single crochets in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. And that's the new repeating pattern, guys. So then two single crochet, one, one, one. Two single crochet, one, one, one. Repeat that pattern all the way around for row five. You're gonna end row round five with 40 single crochets. One, two, one, 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 two, one, 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 and 40. Great, guys. Okay, we're gonna yarn over, pull that through, move your row marker tail. We're done with the body part. Next step, we're going to go right into the head part. The really cool thing about these cat butt coasters is that you're able to do the entire cat butt coaster without even cutting your yarn. So pretty sweet, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go straight into making the head of the cat. You're going to slip stitch in that very first stitch to close round five, going to chain one, and we're going to single crochet in that very same stitch. We're basically needing to lift this next row up one, okay? That's why we're not going into a continuous round where it's a smooth transition. We wanted to lift this next row 
completely up from the last row. Okay, we're gonna make a total of eight single crochets here. So that is one, then two, seven, eight, great. Okay, we're gonna chain two, one, two, go ahead and turn your work. Now go ahead and single crochet in that second chain from your hook. Chain in, or single crochet in that second chain. Then single crochet in the next eight stitches. So one, two, eight, chain two, one, two, turn your work. We're now on row three of the cat head, going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook, going to single crochet in the next seven stitches, one, two, seven, and then decrease single crochet those last two stitches. So one, two, yarn over, pull through. Great, okay, so now we're gonna chain one, turn our work. Row four of the head, we're going to single crochet in the next seven, and then decrease the last two stitches. One, two, seven, and then decrease these two. Perfect, okay, for row five, just chain one, turn our work. Okay guys, for row five of the head, we're going to decrease single crochet in the first two stitches, single crochet in the next four stitches, and then decrease single crochet in the last two stitches. So here we go. Decrease single crochet, one, two, three, four, and decrease Perfect, okay, row six, we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four, turn our work. We're going to single crochet in the second chain from our hook. So single crochet in that second chain. Okay. Half double crochet in the third chain. So yarn over half double crochet, and double crochet in that fourth chain. So yarn over, there we go, two, two, perfect. Okay, skip this stitch right here, skip this stitch right here. So skip the first two stitches and single crochet in the third stitch, single crochet in the fourth stitch, and then chain four, one, two, three, four. All right, single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Single crochet. Half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Great. We're gonna skip this one right here and we're going to slip stitch actually into this second stitch. Go ahead and slip stitch. Beautiful. So we've just made the ears for the cat. And we're gonna start moving our way down the side of the head and to the body, okay? So if you're looking at your cat, you're actually looking on the back of the work or otherwise known as the wrong side, and that's okay. So we technically just slip stitched into this row. In the next row down, we're going to single crochet the side of that row. In that pointy part of the face, we're gonna put three single crochets in that pointy part or the next row. So follow this row, single crochet. Next row, we're putting three single crochets in the side of that row. One, two, three. Okay, we're gonna single crochet in the next row. Perfect. 
perfect. So we got this really rounded look. And then we're going to slip stitch in the side of the neck. So find where the, the neck is. We're going to slip stitch into that. Great, guys. Okay, now the rest of the work on the body is going to be a slip stitch. So we have our little yarn marker tail right here. Go ahead and just yarn that over, pull that through to get it out of the way. You're going to make eight slip stitches. You're going to slip stitch in the next eight stitches, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay, now we're ready for the feet. You ready for the feet? We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Okay, in the second chain from our hook, we're going to slip stitch into that chain slip stitch. And the third chain, we're going to single crochet. In the fourth chain, we're going to half double crochet. And in the fifth chain, we're going to double crochet. Perfect. We're going to skip two stitches. So one, two. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, the third stitch. We're going to slip stitch into the fourth stitch. And then we'll make the second leg. So chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Okay, slip stitch into the second chain. Single crochet into the third chain. Half double crochet into the fourth chain and double crochet in the fifth chain. Perfect, guys. Skip two stitches. One, two. Slip stitch into the third stitch. And go ahead and slip stitch in the next, or total of 16 stitches. So that's one total of 16. So two, three, four, 15, 16. Great. Now we're going to make the tail. Okay, so chain 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 13, five. 14, and 15. Great. Okay, we're going to single crochet in the second chain. 1, 2, single crochet, single crochet in the third chain. Fourth chain, we're going to single crochet and half double crochet in that same stitch. All right, fifth chain, we're going to put two half double crochets. One, two. Okay, next chain, we're going to put a half double crochet and then a single crochet. One, two. Perfect. And then you're going to single crochet all the way down the last nine chains. One, two, eight, nine. Great. Okay. So in the very next stitch, we're going to slip stitch into that one and the next two. So total of three slip stitches. So one, two, three. Fantastic, guys. Okay, great. In this stitch right here, so not this one, but the one right above it, we're going to single crochet in that stitch. We've come up to that pointy corner part of the cheek, the, the cat's cheek. We're going to put three single crochets in the cat's cheek. One, two, three going to single crochet in the next stitch and then next stitch right here we're going to slip stitch to close all right guys that is it that's our entire cat yarn over pull through there we go awesome okay so next step here you want to either choose to add eyes or no eyes totally up to you okay if you want to add the eyes 
have fun with your, your button eyes. You can either have regular buttons or you can have, I've seen people use realistic looking eyes, which I thought was very cool, very different and interesting. Um, you can use the same color yarn that you used for the cat sew your eyes or you can use a black to make the eye look more solid there's lots of different ways you can make this your own okay so i'm going to take a second and i'm going to sew my cat eyes onto my cat and then after i sew my cat eyes i'm going to make a cat nose and i'll show you how to do that and then after i do all those finishing pieces that's when we do the mod podge Okay, so you make sure you do everything first before you stiffen. I'm good? Okay, so I'm gonna take a second, sew on my eyes, then come back, show you the nose, and then I'll show you how to, to Mod Podge. Cool. Okay, my eyes are sewn on. Now I'm ready to move on to my nose. I'm just gonna use the same pink color for my nose since I know it's a material I have available to me, ready for me. And again, we wanna make sure everything is 100% cotton because Coasters get wet, guys. That's the point of coasters is they collect the condensation and 100% acrylic or acrylic and wool are not good with water. They just, they're just, they start to lose form. They start to lose shape and deteriorate a little bit. They're just not, they don't work great with water like cotton can. So make sure all the materials that you use to make the cat butt coaster are 100% cotton. It is super important. We only need a little bit of yarn for the nose. I mean, I'm talking five to seven inch long string of yarn. Okay, so first we're going to make the up and down. A cat nose looks like a T. The first shape we're going to make, the first line we're going to make is the up and down part. So I'm going to find roughly the middle of the cat nose or between the cat's eyes right there. It doesn't have to be exact. doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm going to make just one stitch long that's it just cover one stitch length i'm going to do that two times hold that back one two okay and now i'm going to do the top of the t shape great okay so then I come on the back and I tie my knot okay so if you want I've seen people go a whole step further and add a collar you can add a name using those little beads with letters on them and like really personalize this with your own cat name if you want that's so cute um, you can add a ribbon if you want a little bow on the front put a little bow on the ear you can do so many different things with these. It's so cool, so much fun. The next thing you're just gonna wanna do, guys, is clean up all of these ends. Either weave them into your work, or I'm gonna Mod Podge everything, so I'm gonna, it's all gonna lay flat on the back anyway. So I'm just gonna make sure some of these strings aren't so long. Just trim them back. Okay, guys, so all my strings are cut back. Again, if you don't want to use this Mod Podge to stiffen your work, then you are done. And hopefully you have cleaned up all of your pieces so that way everything just looks really smooth, clean, professional. But I'm gonna move on to the stiffener. So what you're going to need to stiffen your cat butt coaster is a piece of cardboard I literally took a box from my garage and just ripped off a part of the lid. So it's not pretty. It doesn't have to be anything fancy pretty. Do not try to try not to spend any money to get cardboard, guys. Try to find some somewhere. Okay, you're going to take your cat butt coaster. We're going to flip it so we're looking at the back. You want little bobby pins. The bobby pins are going to be what helps us to keep it still. So form it however you want it to stay put. So I'm going to take a bobby pin and I want my tail to stay put. So I'm going to put one end of my tail on the top there. There we go. Come down the side. 
great. Hold the body still. So if you've noticed, my feet have already started, oh, sorry. My feet have already started to curl. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I place my feet exactly where I want them to stay put. And then same thing with my ears. If you want pointy ears and you want them to go in a specific direction, go ahead and make that happen. Okay, great. When you feel like you have placed all of your pins everywhere you need to secure the cat butt coaster, we are going to now grab our Mod Podge. So here is the Mod Podge for a matte look, water-based sealer, glue and finish, just normal Mod Podge right there. Take a paintbrush, dip it in the Mod Podge, and lightly go over the work. Make sure, like I know with my last cat butt coaster, I didn't get enough in this section right here. So I'm gonna go a little heavier in that section to make sure it stays stiff. All right, and once you feel like you've covered up every section, then you just sit back and you let it dry. And that's it. If you want to, you can always take like a piece of felt and cut out the shapes. And then while you have the wet Mod Podge on here, you can lay that felt onto the bottom of your cat so it uh, hardens and glues itself together. And then you have a really cool plain look on the back of the cat butt coaster and it covers up all of your little ends there. It really makes it look really clean. It's just an extra step that you have to do. But other than that, we will just leave that alone, let that dry. And when it does finish drying, this is what it looks like. So in this case, you see my ends a little bit, but not fully. The shape of the tail doesn't move. It stays that way. It looks like I missed a spot right here with the Mod Podge because it still has a little flex. But if I were to put that on there, then this full cap would just maintain form, maintain shape the, the entire time, okay? Well, that is it, guys. That is how you make the Cat Butt Coaster. All right, guys, that is the Crochet Cat Butt Coaster. If you like this video, you might also really like these videos right here. Also, check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.